Abby Welch. I'm here from the Kew Island Golf Resort. I am one of the lead golf instructors at the Tommy Cuthbert Learning Center here in South Carolina. Just wanted to show you a quick way to warm up before you go play. Actually, the proper way to warm up. So, I normally would have done some arm circles, um, some toe touches, some of these, some of those. All good stuff to kind of stretch out before you get up to the golf ball. Usually I do those at home before I actually even leave for the golf course. Now, what I'm first gonna start out with is a pitching wedge. Okay, a pitching wedge is one of the shortest clubs in your bag, and we can actually work, warm up by actually taking smaller swings to bigger swings. All I'm trying to do is do a small little chip shot. Okay, and this chip shot is just working on my shoulders. I don't even have to worry about losing my lower body. Just using my shoulders. They're moving back and forth towards my target. And if you notice, I have this wonderful stick down. The stick is just helping me aim automatically, so I don't even have to worry about where I'm going. As I feel good with these chip shots, I feel like my shoulders are really just warming up, moving back and forth, I'll go ahead and go to a half swing, otherwise known as a pitch. Take about a half swing back, and I'm gonna start moving my hips. This gives our hips a nice, easy way of working into your golf swing. All I'm trying to do is make sure that my shoulders are working and my hips are finishing towards my target. And my body's starting to feel a little looser each swing. Now, I can gradually go a little bit bigger, maybe like a three-quarter swing really good and sometimes hit one good shot go bigger those are good feeling good I'm gonna drop down to my pitching wedge feel positive about that and then I'm gonna jump to my seven iron of course when I go ahead and hit my seven iron you can pick any iron you choose just walk back make sure that your aim is properly or if you have to switch it to go to a different flag and you can go ahead and hit that seven iron four, five, six times, feeling good. Go ahead, switch it out to another club. I always go to a hybrid or a fairway wood, depending on what golf course I'm playing. If it's a shorter one, I'll use my hybrid. If it's a longer one, I'll maybe practice with my fairway wood. Kind of work through those two, two shots. And then I'll go ahead and end with my driver. And with my driver, I'll go ahead and tee up the ball, walk behind, Check my aim again. And I'll go ahead and hit one. Feeling good. And then what I'll do is maybe pick something out there on the driving range. Two flags to maybe make a fairway, make sure my stick is going there. This way I'm kind of working on maybe what the first hole would look like or what I would be working on with my driver on the golf course. That's so, then done with the stick. Now I maybe take two or three shots with my driver, thinking about the first hole, second hole, third hole in mind. Walk up to it. Swing, feel good about it. And then I can either go straight to the first hole or if I have a couple minutes, go down and chip and putt a little bit before I play. Always practice your short game before you play also. Sometimes I do it before I warm up, sometimes I do it afterwards. But this way I feel good about my full swing and all of my shots and I'm ready to go play. Thank you.